Bad Boys for Life is a sequel to Bad Boys 2 and the third installment in the Bad Boys movie series. If you're unsure about the ending, then you definitely came to the right place. In this video, I'll explain the ending of Bad Boys for Life. This video will contain spoilers for Bad Boys for Life, so make sure you watch that movie first before watching this video. Anyways, let's get started. So towards the end of the movie, we learn that Armando Armas, the mysterious assassin hunting and killing everyone, is actually Mike Lowry's own son. He and Isabella Reitas used to be in a relationship together when Mike was undercover as Ricky Rollins. Their relationship ended when Mike put Isabel behind bars. She gave birth to Armando in prison. Mike, Marcus, and the members of Ammo travel to Mexico City, and there's a big shootout. Armando learns the truth about Mike, and Isabel is killed by Rita. They go back home afterwards, and during the mid credit scene, we see that Mike goes to visit Armando in prison. Armando says that he's paying his debts, but Mike says that there's a new opportunity, and asks Armando if he's interested. The mid credit scene clearly leaves room for a sequel. This new opportunity is most likely some sort of agreement that will allow Armando to get out of prison early if he helps the Miami police. Additionally, we also see that Marcus decides not to retire at the end of the movie, which is definitely a weird decision, because throughout the movie, Marcus wanted to retire, and that's what put a strain on Mike and Marcus's relationship in the first place. In the movie, Mike and Marcus even say that they're going to do this for one last time, but it looks like that's actually not the case. Furthermore, the introduction of Ammo means that the sequel could follow them instead of Mike Lowry and Marcus Burns, or perhaps we might get an Ammo spinoff if there's enough of a demand for something like that. The characters who are a part of Ammo are certainly interesting, and I'd be intrigued to learn more about their backstories. The previous Bad Boys movie came out in 2003, which was 17 years ago. If they wait this long for a sequel, then Will Smith and Martin Lawrence would be about 70 years old, and they may not be able to return for a sequel. However, if they do decide to return, it would still make sense story-wise because they didn't retire in the end. I guess a sequel or spin-off all depends on the movie's box office performance. This movie had a budget of $90 million, so if they're able to make a lot of money, then I'm sure a sequel will come out sooner or later. Luckily, Bad Boys for Life has received mostly positive reviews from critics, and the audience reception is also pretty positive. Well, that's it for this video. What did you think of Bad Boys for Life? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.